History was made when the first North American museum devoted to Islamic art opened in Toronto. As Observer TV News' Tanya Dubai reports, the opening of the museum brought out some special guests. Prime Minister Stephen Harper, along with the spiritual leader, the Aga Khan, were on hand in Toronto for the inauguration ceremony. The museum is big, 47,000 square feet. For a very, very long time, this priceless gift will bring joy to the eyes and jubilation to the hearts of countless visitors. The museum is privately funded with a huge price tag, $300 million. It has been a long project in the making, and that means a lot to Canada's 90,000 Ismaili Muslims. The Aga Khan specifically involved the younger Ismaili generation when planning this project. He asked them about their visions for the building and the Ismaili Centre. What should it represent to them, and how do they see it functioning? It is my earnest hope that the formation of this centre, which will now become theirs, has responded to their hopes 14 years ago. The majority of the museum's collection originally belonged to the Aga Khan's uncle. Now, over a hundred artworks and artifacts are showcased, some date back to the 13th century. Visitors will probably be talking a lot about the Belle Reve Room. It features the ceramic collection of the Aga Khan's uncle and his wife. The inspiration for the room comes from the Persian salon in the Chateau de Belle Reve. What's great about this room is that it is free to the public. Anyone can go and have a look. This is the fourth Aga Khan Museum to open in the world. Officials say that they will be taking some of the artwork on tour overseas. Just not in Canada. For now. Tanya Dubai, Observer TV News, Toronto.